Hey guys, Will Edwards, UK Beef TV. Uh, we're back with the Best of Brit Bodybuilding Show. Today we have an amazing guest, Mr. John Collins, who recently just competed at the Graftism Grand Prix, uh, Grand Prix and he cleaned up there. He took the overall, the open class. He's joined us in person. Glad to have you on the show, mate. Yeah, glad to be here. Glad to be here. Um, so I just want to dive right into it. I want I want you to kind of break the show down to me and just tell me what your experience was like uh, winning the overall, the open class. Just let me know how the show was run. What was the experience like? Um, the experience of like a two like two bro show like it's always like um, it's always top tier. It's always top quality. Um, and the, the the guys like who, who run it and put it together like they they do it quite well. Uh, it was. It was well. Basically, I've been prepping like for God knows how many weeks, like nearly fourteen weeks for this for this actual this moment. I got down there to um, do my uh, to measure up and register on the Saturday. Uh, took it easy on Saturday night, and then went in there first, so like Saturday morning. So I missed the part that where I actually had my spray tan too. Oh yeah, well yeah. you need a tan. Yeah, yeah, yeah I need my tan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I went and got my spray tan, got measured up, and saw some of the guys and got ready for the Saturday morning. Um, I was a little bit, for some reason, like I, I always have like a bit of nerves, and I think that's, I've realised that that's that's kind of normal to have like a little bit of nerves. Okay. So I had like a little bit of nerves going, thinking, have I done enough? I think I jumped up about like five or six times in the middle of the night. Obviously, you keep on using the toilet from yeah, of course, letting of the course. water go. You said you're used to that feeling of having a bit of nerves, but were you quite confident coming into the show as well at the same time, even though you had some nerves going, or? I'm, I think you have to have a level of confidence to say you're going to go and attend the show anyway, but not a level of confidence to say I'm going to go on the show and I'm going to win it and I'm going to take everything what they're going to offer or you know, start to dominate the show. Uh, because like doing that kind of thing, sometimes it can lead you to like an upset if you don't get the result that you yeah, want. So yeah, I always I generally go in there with like an open mind that it's all subjective. There could be someone who's a freak and change like the whole nature of the day. Of course, yeah. And then put me on my backside, and I've got to stay, <laughs> stay where I need to be, put me in my place. Yes, yes, of course. Well, that's the whole thing about competing is you putting yourself up against the best and the rest up there. You know, other physiques, and that's what it's all about is kind of just being judged uh, among your peers and uh, you know people in your class. So let's start from you were in the open class. How did that go? Were you were they moving you around, shuffling you around? How many people are on stage with you? Well, there was. For the for the men's physique on that day, there was there's there's three guys in my in my category. Okay. Um, because there was for one when I entered it was for height. Okay. So I entered for between five it was like between five ten and six. Okay, yeah. Uh, for five ten and six foot. So in my category there was three guys in there that day. And so like, tall uh, men's physique tall, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, tall men's physique. Yeah. So there wasn't like a, a great like there wasn't like a like a big huge lineup a yeah. huge a huge okay. lineup uh so uh I've, I've i saw like a lot of guys backstage so like, when you're backstage you don't know who's who's doing what and whatever in what so class, yeah. or in, in what class and like it could be the difference of just like a couple of inches the reason why someone is not in your class so mm -hmm. you you generally start looking around and going oh is that guy with me or is is, is he going to be um the one who i'll be um be standing up against or, or whatever not so it's it's it, it was it was kind of you you got you go for that stage of being a bit daunted like so you kind of wane people up and yeah and whatever, before you start taking your t-shirts yeah of course looking around and that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so when you did take the top off and you saw who was on stage with you at that point again i asked you earlier if you're confident going yeah. into the show did you feel quite confident once you got yeah. on stage with those guys i think I'd, i i think it was more so when i realized um when i said nothing against the guys i was going but like i think it was more so i realized how much work i'd done yeah. And and like how much I'd, I'd gone into, how much how much I'd put into it prior to that when I'd seen like obviously the other guys I was against. Yeah. So that's when my confidence was like, okay, you're okay, right, yeah, you're yeah. Right, you're right now. Cool, uh, yeah. nice one. So you won that class, then let's get to the overall. How did that go? Um, well, the, the over well just before the overalls, uh, there was like some uh, I, I can't remember what class on before, but we were backstage and we saw, we heard like a lot of noise going on. Okay. So we like we like so I ran around to the side and I had a little peek through and I could see like uh, the guys on there, there were, and there was like a lot of like uproar going on. Okay, and, the and, crowd was getting into it. Yeah, the crowd yeah, was really yeah. getting into it, and there was like some guys who bought like some big crowds there with them. Yeah. So that's when I, that's when like the confident level. It's like still there, but it starts to drop a little bit because he's thinking they're making a lot of noise because there's some good people out there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was the guys who were probably like just below like my height range. Okay. And there was there was some 
decent guys yeah. in there. Um, and then I knew that like listen there's gonna be there's gonna be somebody like who's pretty there's gonna be some guys in there who are pretty much phenomenal who are gonna be able to stand on the front yeah, at, yeah. at the end of it all yeah so i was just still kind of let's just, just keep it calm don't know what's gonna happen yet but like i've still got like a, a my confidence level is not it hasn't dropped yeah it's there still it's but still you there. know you got a challenge I've got still, yeah, yeah still got a challenge yeah. yeah 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 nice so so let's go you won the overall explain that feeling when you're up on stage and you're getting presented with the sword if you want to grab it over there and show it off right, to so. the viewers guys see the hard work pays off when you win overall this is the kind of kit you come home with yeah so how did it feel to hold that bad boy on stage when you're getting your picture taken everybody's looking at you you're the top guy if if you really know me, because like um, I'm known as a bit of a chatterbox, and okay. like I'll, and like I've always got so, not always got something to say, but like I always have an opinion on something, and like we can always like try and cut up with whatever. Yeah. But when I got called out, I think it was probably one of the first times. I think if anybody wants to like really shut me up, call me out and say you've won this and take this, and I was I was like pretty much stammering and a bit stuttery. Wow. I still couldn't I couldn't believe what had happened. I was like. Wow, this is this has really happened. Wow, um, what and, a and, and he put the mic, put the mic to me. He's like, "Do you want to say anything?" Like, <laughs> and like, it was almost like a delay. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't, I can't believe this. I really can't believe it. Uh, uh, people who I know, they'll say, "How could you not know you were not going to win?" But I'm like, "You don't know. You don't know that." So like, yeah. I don't like putting myself in that place. Yeah, I'm, I'm always like, don't, just take it as it comes. Yeah. But at the time, like, it was the, the pause then the stuttering, then the excitement feeling kicked in, then it was like, I'm really holding this, this nice. is this is mine, and it's... it's, it's You're taking it home, I'm yeah. I'm taking it home, <laughs> yeah. I'm taking it home, and I can, it's, to, to me, like it says, you are the best of the best. Yeah. At, um, on that it, day, on that, that was you. On yeah. that day, it was, it was me. Yeah, nice So one. like, yeah, well, um, a feeling that you can't replicate. Yeah, it's amazing, I can only imagine. Um, so obviously, you placed well there, you took the overall, we're looking forward now. You're four weeks out from the Arnold's coming up? Yeah, that's up? right, yeah. Okay, so what's the plan um, when it comes to diet and cardio? I'm sure you maybe took a day off, had a bit of food after winning this show, and then right back on it? Yeah, well, um, I've, well this, <laughs> it's funny you should say that, because when people ask him prior to the, um, prior to the show, are you looking forward to it, are you excited? I think you'll probably hear like a lot of guys who will say, I'm just looking forward to eating some food. I hear that a lot, yeah. And it's kind of, that kind of took over my, my thought process. I'm just wanting to just get back to eat some normal food. Oh, so that was and, going through your head yeah, as well, yeah. And it's almost like you kind of forget that you, 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 you're training to go on for a show. Yeah. But it's almost like you're training just to go and to get, go have a meal, yeah. <laughs> eat, 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 eat a meal. Yeah. Um, so after after when I won, we went out, so I had some like lasagna, had some um, garlic cheese bread, okay. and like a beer, and I kind of, I, I, I think I had the donut, then I had a yum yum, then a chocolate roll, then I was, I, I think it started to go like out of control, then I had ice cream as well, Okay. and that lasted, obviously that was after the show, and then I took some stuff back home with me, and like next day, and I was still picking at some of these things and eating, and then something just said to me, oh, you know what, yeah, I've got a show in four weeks. I can't get one. I can't yeah, get, I got a big show as well. Yeah, I've got a big show. So um, I literally uh, had jelly babies and cakes and whatever, ripped them open and dumped them in the bin. Okay. And I said, I don't even want to wrap them up and say I'm going to put them on top of the fridge. I just don't want no temptation. So you just flip the switch right there. Yeah, and I can do that quite easily. Okay. I've always been like well known of doing that. Like I've, I've I've been in conversation with with like a pal on maybe on the morning. Decided I'm going to do a show on the afternoon, and whatever's in the fridge or whatever's in the cupboard, it goes. Yeah. I won't just say, "Oh, let me finish this off first. I'll if, save it for later. No, or I'll have I, it when I'm done. No, you just get rid of it. It starts. So yeah. if, if you come to my house, you're getting free food. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So like, if if I'm ever going to announce I'm going to do a competition, you're ever if you're I'll ever, be you, knocking on your door. Knock then, on my yeah. door. You will right. you will you will take away the donuts. You'll take away the M and M's, the Skittles, and everything else. What goes? Nice with. one. So that's the kind of mindset you need to have. I want to just. Uh, make that point to our viewers is i mean if you're competing go for it you know yeah. you don't have just one foot in one foot out you know flip the switch go for it and obviously look at the results you're going to get you know i'm not saying you're going to take first place and win overall yeah. you know what i mean because that's quite uh, those are lofty expectations yeah. but you need to have that mentality when competing that look we're going for this we're going to do everything we can tick every box you know what i mean and get this job done yeah and that sounds like that's the mentality you kind of take into it, yeah? I think I've, I've been like that um, for a long time. Um, there's, a lot, there's lots of like 
ways about myself far that to keep on looking back and say to myself well why was I able to achieve that or how did I get there and a lot of the time it's just like switch yeah I'm doing this yeah yeah and I'm going in and like I jump in with I, I used to be very kind of like uh, one foot in one foot out and like anything I've done that way never really worked out okay um, because I've been training for so long and it's something what I do I'm like well if you're gonna go in you've got to go in all the way or just don't bother at all yeah um, I hear people say go big or go home I don't I, I'm not really like a, a, a really fan of that saying it's just like go in just get, do it just, just do it yeah get it done um, are you being coached by anybody are you coaching yourself right so for the last um, it's, yeah, it's an interesting question now so since I've started um, I've never had a coach okay. um, I've just had like some guidance um, my friend Aaron um, my very very first show which was like for the uh, at body power the um, uh, the what's it called the model model search, model search. Yeah, yeah they yeah. do that body power when they had a body power yeah when they had a body power yeah. the model search uh, I was actually started training for that at first um, then I just started cleaning my food up I'm, I can clean my food up quite easily my okay. food my, the food what I eat on a daily basis is not usually that bad anyway okay. but I can clean it up quite easy just train hard my theory was always you take out your sugars you take out the treats and you take out all the rubbish and replace it with, with like um, chicken and rice whole foods yeah, yeah chicken yeah. and rice yeah, yeah. And, okay. and I've, I've got myself like to, a, to a decent standard okay. uh, it was in the midst of doing that okay, it was some of the guys from my gym and I like another friend of mine who kept on saying to me, well, if you didn't do that model search, there's on the same day, there's like a, a, a PCA show. Well, why, okay. don't you, why don't you go for that as well? So I've started pretty much like to say, tidy my food up, doing what I'm doing, but I still didn't get it right. And I think it was like my very first show, it was uh, it was Aaron Hudson who helped me. Aaron Hudson, great guy, yeah. great uh, bodybuilder. Follow him on Instagram. I like uh, his uh, Insta page, very good. Yeah, it was it was Aaron who helped me. He kind of helped me keep my head together on my, my first show. So like, I, I really owe like a lot to, to Aaron and there's a, there's a few other, other people who helped me along the way. But like that's, but from then on, um, he gave he gave me like a few little pointers and tips which I just kind of just stuck to and used, okay, okay. and and always asking questions, um, and then from then I've just I've always coached myself. Okay, so continue, that's the situation right now. Moving forward, is you're on top of it yourself with some guidance from good mates in the gym and stuff like that. But so fast forward like to present day now. So we had like lockdown last year. Yeah, uh, I was open to. Uh, I was hoping to get on stage last year, but due to lockdown, yeah. we couldn't do any of that. So, I've come back in 2021, and I think to myself, I need something to do. I need to get back into this. But my my head wasn't in the same place to say, I've got the mental strength to coach myself. Okay. One bit of advice that I got from, um, uh, I, th I think it was it was it was Justin and like and a few other Justin from from Two Bros and a few other guys said to me it was like you, you know what you need to get yourself a coach. Uh, I was sitting down having a meal with one of my friends and um, and I said to him like I, I want to do a competition but I, I just need just to sharpen up and there's something that something's missing I don't know what it is and she uh, recommended to, to me that like oh you know what you need to get a coach and she uh, uh, recommended um, Rob. Um, Rob Waterhouse. Okay. And I was a bit dubious at first okay. because, in my eyes, this is my this is my yeah, this yeah. is my baby. This is yeah. what I've, I've looked at. You worked at, hard for it. You've done it so far. Yeah. So it was because, like, I trust my friend so much, and she said you'll like him because he's someone you can get along with, and somebody who will, will, will understand you. And, and lo and behold, like we just started chatting and. I've got to say, um, I don't think I want to use anyone else. Okay. From wow. There. So it was a good experience getting a coach for you. Yes, it that's, was. That's funny because we've had a couple other guys we've interviewed interviewed recently, and they've advocated getting a coach, and they're coaches themselves as well too. Yeah. So it's just kind of really refreshing to hear that that even people like yourself that are placing well in big shows are just and and you're a bit hesitant to get a uh, coach in the past, and you yeah. got one, and now you're actually enjoying the experience, and you think that it's working well for you. Yeah. Well, um, it keeps me in check, and it's like something where like I'll, I'll need to speak to him. So when I when I 
there's a lot of people asking like who you, who you coaching like i was a bit reluctant like to m mention anything i was like i don't want to get into it like too much conversation yeah. but, but like now now where we are where we are regardless whether i won or lost i would have just still said that listen this guy he's done his best and like he's, he's helped me along the way and like he i'm very honest with him because like i do pt myself and i know what it means like to have like that that relationship with people and, yes, and, and, yes. and their honesty so i made sure from the offset you know what yeah i'm gonna be as honest as i can with this guy even if i miss something if something's not right i want to tell him every last bit love that man um, and that makes the coach's job easier if you're doing good cool and you're following everything awesome but even if you're messing up and you let them know that information yeah. it makes their job easier they can help correct things or change things you know that that data is useful to a coach isn't it so yeah the thing which i liked about rob is that we, we got we got along very well and he was very kind of specific on everything it wasn't just Oh, here's a here's a meal plan. He wants to know everything what I'm doing. Okay. Like he, he wants to know like um, what I'm drinking, what I'm eating, what, how much cardio I'm doing. But I think these might be just normal things what coaches do. But I've never I've never tracked any of this stuff okay, before. Okay, wow. Um, so he was tracking like when I've won it in the past and when I've done stuff, people say, so what calories you on? I'm like, I don't know. What <laughs> macros you on? I don't know. Uh, what how much water you drink? I don't know. Uh, what meals you I don't know. I just freestyle the whole entire thing. And that's what's brilliant about bodybuilding is it humbles you. There's always something to learn. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it, whether it be a new exercise in the gym or uh, trying a new diet or this or that. Like yourself, you've done well up to this point, but you're still learning. You know what I mean? And, and all these things you've just listed, you're kind of learning as you're going now and, yeah. and how to track these things and incorporate and incorporating them into your daily kind of routine now yeah because I, one thing about myself as well it's like obviously I'm, 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 as much as I'm doing I'm, doing, I'm on this little road of self-discovery and I realize like the more like, I only know what I know I don't know it all yeah and the more that you keep your ears open and the more that you're kind of like open like to listening to advice and you know sometimes you might look at someone and go well what, what, should, what does he know Give him five minutes to, to like prove himself okay. to know whether whether he knows what he knows or not. But um, so once I say once me and Robert like started talking and like he looked at me, and, like, I'd, I'd given him I'd given him something to start with anyway. So I'd already been dieting prior mm. before I had the advice to go and get the coach. Okay. And I think I just cut out like a, I'd cut out like a lot of sugars and cut out like a lot of crap and stuff. So I looked pretty decent. So mm. when, by the time I got to him. He looked at me and he was like, well, you know what, you've done pretty much decent already, so what, what I can, basically what he was saying to me, I can help sharpen you up and I can help finish you off and put you to be where you need to be. And that's what you were looking for, you said there was just something missing, you yeah. didn't know really what it was, and that's kind of what it is, just sharpening things up a little bit, yeah? Yes. Um, and, and that's what he's done for me, and I, I can't, like I say, I can't thank him enough, and, I'm, I'm, and now I'm saying to people, like, you need to get a coach. <laughs> you need to get a, at one time I'd be like, no, nah, you don't need a coach. You just, just all you need to do is take this out, take this out and do this. But no, you need a coach to like um, keep you accountable yeah. and also to not like fan, like, like not, not to like blow smoke at your backside and tell you that you look great. Because when I just do a general diet, I'm getting myself ready. Everyone in the gym will say, John, you look great. Mm. But then the real people who know the real stuff will say, you look okay but that needs sorting out that's the thing there's a difference between a gym physique and a stage physique isn't there yeah i mean you can look great in the gym and you won't look that great on stage you know what i mean so yeah, yeah there's i think there's there's an area there there's a fine line that kind of separates both of those yeah um so that's great so you're four weeks out from the arnold's we talked about that um i want to bring it back a little bit to your early competitive history you started off you said with the muscle model search at body power yeah yeah and then it got into the pca i believe yeah so i've done the um model search uh, back in 2017 that was pretty much my overall entry like to jumping on stage and you know like bringing like a, a, a package and a performance so mm. so to speak but in 2017 when i'd done the uh, body power um pca were doing like their show on the same weekend mm. so I'd, I'd be advised to while you're getting yourself ready for this body uh, body power why don't you like jump in and have a go at the uh men's physique so I like the idea of men's physique because I thought to myself, you know what, you know, like, I understand, listen, my legs are okay, they're not the best, they're not great, but like I see for what else, whatever else I had, you got you can spotlight and like, you know, of course, yeah, yeah. use the best of what you've got. So I, had a, I jumped on stage 2017 on this, so I've done the men's um, model search on the morning, on the afternoon, put some shorts on 
jumped on stage okay. to do, jumped on stage to do the uh, my very first show for uh, for PCA, and I came third in my very very first show. In which category was that? That was the. Um, uh, oh, that was men's physique. That okay. was like it's like open, open. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like and you world. said you came third at that. Came third. You must wow. Say. So from just doing the the model search and yeah. then doing the PCA and then coming third on that you yeah. know, same weekend or same day. Yeah. That's kind of maybe opened your eyes a little bit or gave you a little bit of a passion to kind of keep doing it or try it again or. Yeah, because I, f- I think it's when you you kind of spot people's reactions. Uh, people's reactions can sometimes tell you a lot. Okay. So. I knew the reason why I came third because like my posing and stuff like that. Yeah. My first time up there, uh, I'd taken some advice from like a good friend of mine and he said to me, John, you need to do the pose like this, this and this. But what we didn't know that PC, John, you need to do the pose like this, this and this. But what we didn't know that PCA do quarter turns and he'd given me like some posing from, from was it from Miami Pro or, okay, or yeah. something which is completely different? Yeah. So when I look back at the when I look back at my first uh, my first stage appearance, you can see me doing some kind of really rigid kind of movements <laughs> like this. It's normal, guys. Yeah. It's normal. First yeah. time on stage, it happens to everybody. Yeah. This I have no I'm, I've got no shame in telling you that like when I realised that I, I was I felt like I was at my depth. I was doing movements and I was looking across you and I went, you can see me looking at the other guys going, am I doing this right? Or and like, <laughs> yeah. So when they done their move, I was like, oh, yeah, I, I was doing that. this. Then they was doing this. I was like, uh, and great, yeah, you great. can see me, you can see me doing this move. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> I think when I got off stage, I think it was, um, I think it was a, a, a warrior who said to me, he was like, Mate, yeah, you look. Listen, you look okay. You just need to sort out your posing a little okay, bit. Okay, okay. I'm like, yeah, I, I kind of gathered that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so it was a pretty, pretty good first experience for you. Though, yes, well, yes, it, w- it it was, it was. Um, and I, and I, I sit back and laugh about it now, but you need to have those moments. You need to have those moments where, because I think a lot of time you get people get into things and they expect to get it right first time, mm. and and they they get like demoralized because they didn't perfect it first time yeah i've just jumped into something thinking to myself i'm going to give this a go and i should be okay when real when realistically there's like guys who knew how to diet down they knew how to water uh like deload and yeah they're following all the protocols all the that you pro- know about now that yeah you which didn't know about i didn't know about yeah. which i didn't know about yeah. then so I came third and i got automatically put into I got the invite to the uh, the British that year. Okay, PCA uh, British P- finals. Yeah, yeah, PCA British finals, and that was probably about say f- about say four months later. Okay, and did you go do that? Yeah, went, went finals, done yeah. that, and I came yeah. I came third again. Okay, okay. Uh, by that time, I started like to perfect like a little bit like on my conditioning. Was your posing a little bit better this my po- time? Around? My posing was a little bit better this okay, time. Yeah, okay, it, okay. It, it, it wasn't as horrendous as first okay, time. Okay, okay. So you weren't looking to the side. No, you no, kind of. No. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I kind of got. I was still trying to fathom out what's left and what's right. <laughs> uh, quarter turn to the left. <laughs> I've seen that before. I've been to a couple shows. Yeah. Quarter turn to the left, and the guys are going the other way and that. I yeah. Mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it was a, a lot of that was still going on, but I think by that time. I'd probably start to master a little bit more with the diet because I think I also remember like on my first show I was like a little bit watery because I like, I came off the off stage. Um, I came off stage and this you know what this is probably on the on this on the second day I'd probably gone back home and eat peach or whatever so I was yeah. like two days but going back to like the the finals um, I'd cut down and I'd like I'd brought it I brought it in like a lot better yeah and the competition level was quite high at that time I so I came third again from up that's the thing I've said before like on a couple other interviews I've did I'm a fan of the PCA uh, level of physique you know what I mean yeah. so you saying that just kind of drives that point home it's usually pretty much up to standard isn't it yeah, yeah it is it is I'm not I'm not in the knocking and as I said like it was this way up this where I started off but like I could see like the quality of the guys like they they were good yeah um, but just to pull a third on my second show yeah that for me was some, because like, I've, I've seen, have you ever been like around the show where someone doesn't get first or they get third? They, they say, "Oh, I should be in place like this." Oh, and like they're so kind of dismissive and they start mm. cussing the judges and yeah. saying, "Oh, he doesn't know anything about anything." I'm just like, "Well, I'm like this. 
I got a trophy. Um, <laughs> you were quite happy with that. I was yeah? super happy with yeah. that. And the fact of the matter is, my mom and my son were in the in the in the in the crowd to see yeah. that. They were, in, they, were, they, were the, they were always at my shows, but they were both there to see that. For me to carry off something to say they've recognised me. Yeah, that's that's got to be a good thing. Let me kind of jump to something else. You just said your son was there at the show. Yeah. So how is it competing having a son? Does it? I mean, does it get in the way? Do you guys go out for dinners and you're prepping and you're kind of bringing some, the, you know, chicken and rice and a Tupperware? Or is it, you know? Yeah. So me, me and my son, like we're we're we're, we're very close and like you know, like I've I've like every weekend and like he says he's just gone forty now, so he's into like his computer games and these and I just bought him an e-scooter so he's gone now he's loving that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh, the whole thing of like I had to explain to him the other day because I, I did say to him very loosely before the show that I was going to take him to this burger place in, uh, in Worcester um, I said listen when it's all over I want to go to the burger place and when it was all over uh, it, this was probably the first show that him me and my mum didn't, didn't attend because they're okay. going to come to like the Arnold's and he was like don't we going to go for that burger and I'm like mate I've probably just consumed my body's weight in sugar and, I was, <laughs> and he's a very understanding kid and he's so cool okay so he got that yeah he, 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 he really gets it I think that's what like, I'm so proud of him for that because he's such a cool kid nice. so I'll say to him I'm like we can't go for that meal now because I've got to do this show in four weeks are you okay to wait for another couple of weeks and he was like yeah don't worry about it it's cool that's great man that's great but, but I do realise that whatever I'm doing it takes it does take away from like some of our time and I can, I'm, I'm aware of that so so I have to make sure when it's off season we try and do yeah, as much yeah you make up for that make and you for make that. an effort to, to do those things yeah. exactly yeah but no it sounds like a pretty good relationship there as well then so yeah, yeah I think there, there was like I've seen the early days like he did try and eat out like, eat out of a Tupperware like his dad as well like obviously when I have a bit of prep yeah. food he's like join me with a bit of food he's like yeah, yeah dad this food's okay <laughs> so, like, <laughs> not really for me yeah, though yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah no but like he, you know what yeah he's, he's, a, he's a very very loving and understanding kid right so um, that was pretty much 2000 yeah 2017 so 2018 I go to I go back to PCA again but I'd had a bit of advice from someone to say well you know what it because of your age you can go and do masters okay how old are you uh, I'm 44 44 okay yeah so you can go and do masters so I thought to myself, okay, then cool, because I was placing, I kept, I placed third twice, and so in my head, I'm like, well, it's probably as good as I'm going to get, because they and are... this is an open, yeah, open yeah. class, or just regular uh, men's physique. Men's physique, thing, yeah. yeah, so I'm thinking, this is probably as good as I'm going to get, like, place third or thereabouts, because, like, these guys are good, these yeah. guys are really, really good, so I decided, you know what, yeah, I'm going to go and take it to, I'm, I'm going to do the PCA, but I'm going to do Masters this time, so I've done the, um, jumped in to do Masters, uh came first place okay uh and i was like well okay so i've gone from masters yeah got yeah done, done my first place in masters uh gone back again to do the um i was invited back to e a british came first again took the british okay so this is your second British with PCA now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and then they was then it was the Worlds. The Worlds was about about say four weeks. I think basically what they announced when when I won when I won the British, they said that whoever qualifies in that show will get invited to the Worlds. Okay. So won the British about say four or five weeks later, won the Worlds as well. Wow, it's a lot happening kind of quickly there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So like it was all kind of bam, 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 bam. So like it was win. It was like first, first, first yeah. each time. Then what happened was, I didn't realise it. Like because of being a um, a master, you don't, you can't. No, I don't. There's no associations that give um, pro cards or PCA Pro or Pro Two to masters. Mm. So I've made that. I didn't actually know that at the time. So that was. I was a bit like, oh. you know, well, I've been putting like this work in for that. So that's when. I pulled away and then started to like reevaluate what I was gonna do. Um, I, I actually mess. I'm actually remember messaging the guys from Two Bros and saying, "Well, guys, do you give masters? Uh, do you give like pro card to masters?" And they were like, "No, nah, no, we don't." Um, I can't remember if it was either Justin or Ian. And, there was, and I said, "So, so what do what what? Where do I need to be like to try and get like a pro card?" It was like, "Well, you can do open." He's like, "Oh, well, what do you look like?" So I sent over a photo, yeah. and it was like, "Well." 
how long ago was this? I'm like, well, probably a couple of weeks ago. It's like, yeah, you, you are, yeah, you're, you're more than okay to, okay, to okay. come over. So like, that kind of like really boosted me up because like, I know the two bros were, it's like the level, it's like IF, IFBB. Yeah, so. they're the ones handing out the pro yeah, cards. Yeah, they're the ones out the pro exactly, cards. Yeah. So I thought to myself, right, I've done this before PCA. I can, you know, I can, I can, I can breeze this. So I, I got ready for my first two bro show in 2019. 2000, how did that go? So, right, <laughs> got ready for the two bros, thought to myself, yeah, I can just do this. Because prior to like, obviously winning, I've, I've, always, I've always got myself ready within about say six to seven weeks. Okay, so short preps then, yeah. Yeah, six, seven weeks of prepping and, and got ready and won. But then I've gone to two bros and tried to do the same thing again. And I won't be ashamed to say that like I got my backside handed to okay, me. Okay, wow. I think I must have placed about say seventeenth or eighteenth. Okay. And this is your first time experiencing anything like that in your competitive career. Yeah, I think I remember getting to two bros uh, down at Luton, um, sitting there like a lot of the guys recognise me from from elsewhere. They're like, oh yeah, it's, it's mega John. It's, it's Johnny's yeah. okay. And he's, yeah, he's gonna do okay. And I saw like saw Justin. I saw some of the guys. Goes, oh, you know what? I'm glad you're here. You're gonna do okay. And when these guys start taking their tops off, I'm like, wow, these guys are really good. Them guys before were good, but these guys are really, really good. And different like, level, yeah. Different, different level. And I just remember my, my body, the feeling is just going, Ugh. and everything's dropping out of me completely. And I was just so <sighs> trying to G myself back up and it just wow. wasn't happening. I remember going on stage and um, I, I, I think it was, like, I think it was just going, Come on, John, get your lads up. And I was like... Just, you were just demotivated de at that point. I was so demotivated. And I was like, is this really for me? I don't think this is for me, you know. Got off stage, I remember just picking up my bag. And it was it was kind of a weird feeling of leaving a place without, after getting so many thirds and firsts yeah, or whatever. Yeah. I was like, I'm leaving somewhere. And I'm just leaving with my bag and my tracksuit. And, and that's it. I came out of there and it was probably one of the most humbling feelings I've ever had. But looking back at it now, and I'll tell these people that, that was, when I look back, that was the best feeling that I, that was the best feeling I had. I needed to have that. Okay. We need humbling every now and again. Don't ever think that like everything's always going to be handed to you because you can do it here and there and I feel like works out okay. And I just want to make that point clear to the viewers is if you're jumping into competing and like he said, he started off, you know, placing well, yeah. John did. And then he's jumped to a different federation and he just said he got, you know, he ran away with his tail between his legs, placing yeah. 17th or something crazy yeah. like that. But that actually ignited the spark again for him and kind of motivated him to kind of bring it a bit harder now is what you're saying yeah. oh yeah well, I, I, I remember all this as if it was yesterday so I, I remember leaving there um tail between my legs like just doing this going oh, what am i do and but like that was another regional qualifier so like I'm, i had to go back okay in, a, in like a, a, a few months to like probably i'd say two like a month or so time anyway mm -hmm. so i remember going back and going so i remember making a little video i, I remember going back and um walking around i think i was walking around luton town on the morning because i stayed in the hotel and i woke up quite early went for a walk went to, went to the cake shop <laughs> everything always ends in the cake shop yeah, went to the course, cake yeah, shop yeah. and i was walking by and i was walking back and it was like very early very quiet airy morning and i had like a moment of clarity somebody said to me you know what yeah you needed that and it's almost like i talked to myself i said you needed that and it's almost like what are you gonna do what are you gonna do because it's, it's almost like an alter ego it's like what are you gonna do you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna leave it like that. And I was like, no, no, I'm not. And it was almost like a, a real full on conversation wow, with myself. Wow. No, I'm not. I'm gonna do this. And I, I started chuckling. I remember walking and, like, and I, I had this like really cheesy grin. I, 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 was, I don't know if it was a cake or what, but like, yeah. I was walking, walking through, uh, walk through, um, uh, through Luton with this really kind of cheesy, cheesy grin going, you know what? Yeah, I need that. I'm gonna do this. Went back home. Next morning, done a video. Everyone was like, "Oh, how did you get on? We know you. you, know, you we knew you. Sm we knew we'd have smashed it." I was like, "Right, guys, uh, went to the show yesterday. Had my backside handed to me, but I needed that. And like, it's made me feel good. It's really made me feel really, really good." Put the video out, and people were like, "John, you know what? Yeah, we respect that because like, you know, you've, you've gone there. That's what's happened." Jump back in the gym, knuckle down with the diet, and. I've never worked so hard at okay, something. Wow, amazing! And like I, I remember um, looking at like other athletes and who, who like are in the um, two rows, like uh, pro pros. Um, 
I was watching like their movements and everything else, and I kind of studied it for that 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 that, that time. Came in, and then thus when I came when I came back again, for, um, when I came back again for the uh, for the for the show, uh, I think I saw Justin again, and he was like, "How you feeling, mate?" And I was like, "Mate, I feel amazing. I feel good." And like I spoke to him like this, I do remember I was like, "I feel good. I'm ready." Uh, saw some of the guys again. I was I was backstage and I saw I was there with Aaron. I was there with like a lot of the other guys. And I remember just having the earphones. I'm just doing this. Great. Total different vibe in the first yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. I was properly like vibing out. Um, and then I remember going back. I remember like pumping up backstage, taking my top off, and then the guys are going. Yeah, I could see people like nudging. So it was the other way around this time because you were kind of looking at other guys like that in the previous yeah. show. Yeah. So this time they were going. I could see people like, like this going, look at him kind of thing. Yeah. So I'm not even thinking about whether I win or not. In my in my head, I was like, I feel like I've won anyway. Not like to go and score on stage, but I feel personally I've won. Yeah. So I was like, I didn't really care what happened because I felt good. I know I'd put the work in. Cut a long story short, got on stage, um, got called. Um, I got on stage and I didn't re I, I got moved around. Then they called me out and said, like, you know, you got, got first. And I was absolutely buzzing. Wow. And you've actually got that hardware with yes. you here today. And you have the medal from the Graftism yeah, Grand so, Prix as well, if you want to grab those over. Yeah, so this is my first uh, medal from um, from the, my first win at Two Bros. And this is that one where you're buzzing and vibing and the whole game changed for you right there, yeah, wasn't it? That was Yeah, that was, this was pretty much the game changer because I started seeing people with these. And I said, when I saw, like, the Joel Wader Olympia on there. Wow. I'm like, we'll put that one here. Grab yeah. that other one over there. Right, and this was my one from just gone from the weekend. Nice. I always keep I always keep my numbers on there to nice. remind me as well. But like, yeah. Yeah. So we're racking up a bit of kit now, aren't we here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, so obviously when I run from there, uh, I got to the 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 end where the what's it called the overalls got to the overalls, and I just missed out in 2000. I just missed out. I just missed out on the overalls. And when I got to the end of it, uh, the guy was like, "Mate, you just missed it just by a, a whisker." So I was gassed up, ready to go in 2019. Lockdown happened. Then, then I've come back again, 2000, 2020, 2021, and that's where. That's where we are today. That's yeah. where we are. Today. And we're four weeks out from the Arnold's, like four we talked out. about yeah. earlier. Yeah. Um, amazing story, man. I love it. To be honest. Uh, yeah, it's just exciting sitting here talking to you and, and learning this this journey you've been through, man. There's ups and downs, and you're sticking yeah. with it, and just the self motivational talking that because I do that a bit myself whilst yeah. I'm just training in the gym, or you know what I mean. It, yeah. it, it's it's a great thing to kind of just encourage yourself and know that you're capable of doing it. Um, guys, we're gonna leave uh, all his info in the description below. If you want to contact uh, John for PTing, you said you're at personal training out of what gym again? Uh, from uh, Flex Physique in Dudley. So if you're living in that area, you're looking for a good PT. I mean, look at the shape this guy's in. Yeah, get a hold of him, contact him regarding PT. Um, John, before we go, do you have any kind of message or anything you want to get across to our viewers? Any words of encouragement? Any advice? Just I'm going to leave it to you to go ahead and just say what you got to say. Um, I think um, what I would say, like in regards, like to anything, like whichever, whatever you're doing, because it doesn't just have to be within like the bodybuilding and whatever. But um, yeah, for years you see people like doing like these motivational speeches and talks about oh yeah go for it and whatever and like and sometimes it looks very kind of generic and a bit like kind of yeah yeah whatever but when you're actually in it yourself and you're actually doing it yourself and you're being repetitive and doing what you're doing and sometimes it feels like you're not getting nowhere the little bits of action are building foundations and like before you do anything you have to have foundations because like one brick doesn't build a house you've got to have to you're gonna have to keep on building those up until you get to what you need to what you need to get so it's just the, the, the sake of whatever you want and whatever you're going to go for just gonna keep on hammering at it and you know, you know when people say oh, i don't let anybody tell you because no one you know realistically people don't really care no one's not going to tell you that you shouldn't do it but it's more so what you want to do for yourself so whatever you want to aim for keep on hammering it at it regardless so because like one year i'm standing in standing like in, at, uh, at um, um the the model show um doing you know, like doing the, doing not the, even the, knowing what, no, what posing is really not even what posing is but like all what I've done has opened me up to so much and it's like it's I've got I've gained like a lot of friends and I've gained like a lot of good contacts and even to be sitting here doing this right now is all based off that that what that one time of me saying I'm gonna have a go 
Yeah, it's our pleasure at UK Beef TV to have you, man. Seriously, we love the fact that you came down here to just share your story with us, uh, show off the hardware, talking about the Arnold's in four weeks. We'll look out for that. We'll watch your Instagram stories, see yeah. how you do there. Um, yeah, so guys, uh, Will Edwards, UK Beef TV, Breast of Bit body, Bodybuilding Show, another great episode. Our uh, guest, John Collins, was a star today. Uh, the story was amazing. Like, comment, subscribe, share, leave comments. Uh, let us know who you want us to interview. Just make the page active, guys. We're on Instagram, UK Beef uh, TV, UK Beef Magazine. Message us, get a hold of us. Like, comment, subscribe, shibe, or <laughs> excuse me. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Do it all. Will Edwards, UK Beef TV, best of Brit bodybuilding, and we're out.